Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor. Uh, previously on Wind Waker, we got through some of the dungeon, and then we're gonna keep going. I, I got stuck right here because I couldn't see that eye right there you can see in the corner. Didn't know that was there, so I had to check, um, I had to check another, um, playthrough, specifically Trigger Conrad's playthrough, and yeah, I didn't know that that was there. I knew I was missing something, but didn't know what exactly. So, I don't know how much of the previous... There we go. I don't know how much of the previous episode was actually in one video, or if I split it into two. That's something I'm gonna have to decide later. I'm just recording one after the other because I'm still feeling good enough to record another one right now. So, I don't know what's in this chest, but we'll see. Probably a heart, joy, yep, joy pendant, of course. But I mean that I would prefer to um, I would prefer to get all the, uh, treasure chests possible rather than, uh, passing one up and just not getting it. But now we're getting some, uh, arrows and bombs, so that's nice. But no bomb arrows, sadly. Oops. That was kind of weird. So, uh, so what we need to do now is equip the bombs. Oops. Equip the bombs. Set this down. Oops. Oh well, I got the heart. That's all that matters. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's okay. I'm already at full health anyway, it wouldn't help. So, kind of jump down here, drop it, run over here, let it blow up that thing. I guess we're gonna have to throw it. There. Thought that was close enough, but I guess it wasn't. Not sure what's in here. But, we can go right into this. N oh, this is a, uh... I don't remember what these are called. Oh, you can't press B and then get rid of it. But we have to play the Wind's Requiem right here. I'm, and I think there's a treasure, I think you get like a treasure chart in here, but since it has the Triforce symbol on it, uh. okay, we got this. I thought I was going to see that thing in the background. Oh, just a regular treasure chart. Okay. I say regular because, spoilers, there are other kinds that we have to get. And I think this is just, a, I think this is just the game training you to, um, whoops. to know to oops I think this is just the game training you to um know what to do uh when that time comes but we're going to not do that quite yet but there's also, um, you might also find it on your own, so. 
You might also find it on your own, so that would, um, we need two of them for reasons, because as you can see, this door is glowing, so that means that there's one of those, uh, statue buddies that we have to take back across. And there's some magic here, so we can refill our magic meter legitimately, rather than using the, uh, the, uh, one exploit. I wonder why this is here. Is this to let you look around? Huh, that's weird. So, like, as you can see, this doesn't really work, but we have to do the command melody. No, wait. Nope, we have to find something. Can I push this? Wait, I think I know what to do. I think we have to take three of these and put one across there. Wait, are you supposed to, like, take a pot in there and then place that on the thing? I don't think you can take pot. Nope. Well, I'll get back to you. No, bombs don't do anything. Oh, you know what you're supposed to do? I think I figured it out. You're spo yeah, you're supposed to fly across here. And then you... Oh. That's... Um... Not really... Expected. Oh, it was in the air. That's really cool, actually. And we can just walk right through this because it's not... Link. Oh! Now we can return. That's right. So we just pick this up. I think this one's actually... I was gonna say this one's the easiest part, that, but then I realized, oh wait a minute. Oh no. I was going to say this is the easiest part, but then I remembered that there was that one part where I, um, had a lot of trouble just now, or in the previous episode. Again, I'm not sure if that was, it was really long, so I don't know what I decided in the future. I'm just going to throw all these over there because I don't want to take a chance. Oh. The lighting kind of flickered for a second there. That was a little weird. So we need to pick this up. Take it across. And then take it through the room. And now it's going to jump down and then jump across to the thing on its own. And now there are three of them, and you know what three means in Zelda? It means that that's all, that's all that they need, so. So they create a Triforce looking block that uh, fires a beam into there, but we're not ready for that yet. We need to go to... There's something that we still have to get. Okay, so it's on the east side over here. I think this was the one that I was just in. No, it's not. Okay, yeah, and there's a... Uh, thing. Whoops. Oh, it, that just went down. 
can't remember what those are called. Um. Anyway. Oh, that's a lot of magic. So now there's a platform that we can jump onto. Okay. And then we're gonna go to another place that has another treasure chest. I don't know what's in here again. I wasn't really paying attention to... Oh, okay. So this is another room. I'm not used to being able to um, use bombs whenever I want rapid fire like that. Um, because in Breath of the Wild you can only use two at once, at most. Um, so yeah, but in Wind Waker you can use seemingly as much as you want. Oh, that was useful. It was just a joy pendant. Woo! Alright, there's one on the first floor. I'm gonna go right back to that real quick. So meet you back by the boat. Armos statues, that's what they're called. There we go. Oh, these bots respawn, by the way, if you wanted to grab any items from them. There's a large magic refill on the west side. Oh, I just realized something. The purple areas on the map there are to show you which of the rooms are the ones that the statues came from, and then the one without a statue is the one that you use to get back to the beginning. Yep. Makes sense. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's funny how it, like, tracks you, even though... and then... oh, the boat just floated back up. Um... It's funny how it tracks you, even though that's like, it doesn't matter. Okay, oh, nope. I need to go over here. Refill my air. Oh good, thank you. Oh. Okay, so... I didn't grab the treasure, treasure chest. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I was gonna say... I thought the bubble was going to be in my line of view. I can't even see it. Okay, come here, please. I can grab that in a second. Ugh. Ugh. I'm really bad at aiming. There we go. Oh, so those were doors. I see. Um. Ooh. A lot of rupees in that one. I think it depends on how you time it. Oh, and the rupee's just floating in the air. You got a treasure chart! Yeah, okay. So that... Oh, the Armos are alive now. Uh, so we only have one chest left to grab, and then it's onto the boss. I'm not gonna defeat the Armos. They were not very... Um relevant last time. I'm gonna go back up to that purple light section. Oh, we're already here. Okay, so now, oops. Now what we need to do, how's the... I'm gonna grab more magic on the west. Yep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go through this door and then go right back out. And it should... Immediately refills, yep, it immediately refills the magic pot, the giant, or the large magic pot. So if you need a lot of magic all at once, you can just use that one. Are we looking on bombs? Good. Uh, we have 23 arrows, that shouldn't be a problem. So now we're going to step into the light. Not always a good idea, but a good idea in this case, because we want to do more in the dungeon, of course. Oh, and this is just upstairs. There are three things here that we need to just barely out of reach oh I thought one of the 
those things. I can't remember what they're called. I thought one of those things were, were gonna... I thought that's what that noise was because if you listen... If you listen carefully, it's uh, the same. I think it's the same sound effect. There we go. Now that we get three... Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. It's the boss key or big key or... I think it's the big key. Yep, big key. Um, yeah, I guess that makes sense. There would have to be a chest containing... Oh, no! Now the Armos are coming after me. I thought we were friends! Um... We don't need this water anymore. I mean, I guess Link could drink it, but... Oops. You know? There. Easy. I mean, like, it, it takes some of your health away, but... You don't ha at least you don't have to, like, time it. And look at that! I'm all the way back at full health again. Okay. Oh, no I'm not. I don't care. Wait a minute. Oh, I do have to care. this would be required, but it is. There we go. Oh. Oh no. And then that opens the door. Yep. Oh, and we don't get anything for that. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to switch back to I was going to switch back to items that would not, that are, okay, where is this bird? There we go. Oh, that doesn't look very comfortable. So we just walk into it and have the bomb. So we just walk into it, have the bomb blow up, and then go on with our day. Yeah, I know it's... I know it looks kinda... dangerous, but... Trust me, it's fine. It's mostly harmless, as they say. <gasps> okay, I didn't know that there was a fairy in that. Okay, there we go. I didn't know there was a fairy in that one. But I'm glad that I was far enough away from it to see it. Now I need to switch to something else. Okay. Oh, okay. There's another fairy in there. I'm glad that they put one there. Decided to put one there. Uh, they didn't have to. They could have been like... Nope, you didn't get the one in there, so uh, I guess you're not going to get a fairy. But it's nice that they were like, 
that they put two there just in case you missed one of them. So, this is the boss of the dungeon. It's a really short dungeon, actually. You have done well to find your way to this place. Oh, chosen one. Accept this final challenge. Hmm, looks a lot like the IROC boss from Mario 64. I wonder why that is. Could it have been because Nintendo was the developer of both of these games? I don't know. It would be really funny if they actually... If the prototype was actually the IROC boss and then they added more to it. So what we have to do... Oops. Is... Oop. Oh no. We have to destroy this with air. Destroy his hand. Destroy the uh, boss's hands with arrows. Oh no. We have to run away. Ah. There we go. Got one eye. Oh no. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I thought I was going to get out of there. No. Gotta run. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's neat. You actually... It's like the, uh... Armos statues are training you. For, um... For the boss fight. That's cool. I thought it was just... The small Armos statues were training you for the... Big ones, but... No, that's not the case. Oops, I shouldn't have gone in front of it like that. Oops. Oh no. Yeah, now that it's in the second phase, we're not given as much, um... leeway in here. And we only have one arrow left, as you can see. Oh no, what's gonna happen? And he sneezes out another arrow. Well, I mean, it's a, it's an ancient statue, so I don't... I don't know what... I don't think it's technically he. Or... So like, yeah. It doesn't really matter with an ancient statue. That sneezes out arrows when you run out. How helpful. Oh, whoops, I didn't even see that. Oops. This should be it. Oh, thank you for sneezing out more arrows. Oh, and that's it. I think. Yep. The path can now be opened. I don't know what voice I'm trying to do. Oh, chosen one. What will now come to pass is tied to your fate. Oh, I didn't read it. Go forward with caution. I hope I got the voice close enough to what someone would expect. Oh, that's... Really close. Oh. Oh, that makes me wonder what would happen if someone accidentally defeated the boss. Well, that's really close to the thing. Makes me wonder what would happen if someone defeated the boss right in the light. Would they miss the heart container? I would assume that they would be able to go back and grab it. So, that's the end. But, 
We gotta go step into this other purple light. Or pink, purple, I, I don't really know. On my TV it's purple. On my TV it's purple, but on my recording it's a little bit lighter than that. So anyway, um... If you notice back there, the heart container actually appeared about as far away at, from the portal as Link did, so it makes me wonder if, like, the game is programmed to put the heart container the same distance away from the portal as Link is. That would be really interesting for people to, if people have tested that out, um, before. But, um, so like the Nintendo just has the heart container position, copy Link's position, and then a random spot around the thing, or maybe a set position, and then like, spot that also takes Link's position into account, but now we're ringing the bell. Did you ever think that this is actually, um, a bell tower? I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense because it's Tower of the Gods. Tower of the Gods, a bell tower, you know. Now there's a portal that just magically appeared. You have done well, Link. It would seem the gods have acknowledged you to be a true hero. But this does not mean that your trials have ended here. Once you take your first step into the world beyond the ring of light that you see shimmering in the waves before you, so like, ring of light, the world and the beyond the ring of light, like, the world of light, haha, <laughs> just kidding. Your true trial will begin. Are you ready, Link? Yes. Vote. Oh, and we're sinking. Oh no. Let's float to the place wherever this is. We don't know yet because it hasn't told us. I like the water effects though. Yeah, if you think about it, wouldn't you wouldn't it be easy to drown in here? Link's just probably confused about what's going on. But now we're just magically floating in the air down to I don't know when they say it, and I don't really want to spoil it, but that is the crest of Hyrule. Oh, well. That looks like Hyrule Castle as well. I don't know when they actually say this is Hyrule Castle, but this is definitely Hyrule Castle. I think. I mean, I'm just... I don't want to try to spoil it, but it looks definitely looks like Hyrule Castle. You are probably wondering where we are, aren't you? Unfortunately, there is not enough time for me to explain it to you now. Once you are able to strike down Ganon with the item you obtain into this castle, all will be made clear to you. So Ganon is the Emperor, confirmed, I guess. Trust in my words, see what awaits you in the castle. Oh, I thought it froze. Ah, okay. I'm gonna switch to that. Oh yeah, and there are no mailboxes outside. Hmm. It's all frozen in time. Hmm. I wonder why that is. Is that Link? I wonder who that is on the one before the family picture. You know that statue of someone definitely looks a lot like Link. Oh.
All right, Link. I'll need you to listen to me for a moment. The item you seek is hidden somewhere in this castle. To find it, you must find the entrance to the basement. But that entrance has been blocked by a mighty threshold, firmly sealed to prevent evil from ever gaining access. Do you know where to search and what you must do to open the hidden way? You will find a clue in the shape of the herald near where we arrived at the castle. Ah, uh, yes. The Triforce. I hope that's not a spoiler. I mean, this isn't really a walkthrough either. So. Yeah, it looks like Link up there. See, this is the only kind of block puzzle that I actually like. Whoops. Grab. Okay. One that's, like, unique. Because you're moving the uh, triangular blocks around like this. Uh, rather than just... Oops. Uh, grab. Rather than just pushing... Oops. Oh no. This... Oh no. No, I don't want it to go that way. This seems to be a little glitchy with finding the... The grab spot. The grab area. There we go. Uh, grab. There we go. And then we can... Uh. No. Uh. The handles are kind of difficult to find here. There's a lot of enemies in here. I sure hope they don't wake up. You know, it actually seems to work better when you go right here. Nope. Okay, that's stuck. Oh no. Oh no, I'm not stuck. Okay. Good. Um... Now I'm right in the middle of the Triforce emblem. And now it's glowing. And now the Link statue goes back. You know, that kind of looks like Wind Waker Link. I wonder if that was like their... Um, when... Uh, their adult link version of Toon Link before they scrapped that idea and then they just decided hey let's let's keep that or let's put them in the game as like a statue that'll be cool so I wonder what's in here I mean like I know it's in here but I'm just pretending hey. excellent link to perceive such a puzzle and decipher it is no small feat. Now, take the sword that lies before you. It is none other than the Master Sword, the Blade of Evil's Bane. Now, er, it is the only sword that can banish Ganon from the world above. Looks kinda... drab. Now the enemies are moving again.
Oh no. <laughs> You got the Master Sword, the legendary blade with the power to of hell evil, once wielded by the legendary hero himself. Pretty cool. And now, we have a new sword. In the next episode, we're going to go out into the, into the sanctum, I guess, of Hyrule Castle. I don't know if it's called the Sanctum or not, I'm just guessing from Breath of the Wild. We're gonna go out there and use our new sword that we got just now. It'll be fun. Goodbye for now. <laughs>